Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. This is a continuation of my Payday 2 build series, where I make a build for every perk deck in the game. This is my Hitman build. For the primary, it's the Akimbo Kobus 90 submachine guns, modded like this. The long barrel. The bigger the better suppressor. Accuracy boost. Auto fire mod. Compact laser module, and the speed pull mag. For the secondaries, it's the GSPS shotgun, modded like this. Dragon's breath rounds, shark tooth nozzle, accuracy decrease, and a compact laser module. For the armor, it's the ICTV, so we can reach two shots of our armor. Now for the perk deck, Hitman. This perk deck gives us two things that we need to be wary of. 1.5 second armor regen and akimbo skills. 1.5 second armor regen is, means that every single time our armor gets hurt, 1.5 seconds later, our armor will come back. So keep that in mind. This perk deck will give you the most consistent armor regen in the entire game. Well, the fastest at least. The other thing is it's a Kimbo bonus. As you can see for the third card in the deck, it decreases stability penalties for Akimbos and also gives you more ammo. This is why I went with the Akimbo Kobuses, because it gives Akimbo benefits. The throwables is the concussion grenades to clear and to do and to just move around. For the deployable, it's the ammo bag since you can you do lose ammo with the Akimbo Kobuses pretty quickly. For the, katana, for the melee, it's the katana, because we are getting melee skills. And mastermind, just a spare point and stable shot for more stability with our cobuses. Enforcer, shotgun skills. Shotgun CQB ace for a reload, because the GSPS does have a long reload. If you get a faster reload shotgun, you won't need this. Transporter aced. This is for bag movement. Since we are using the ICTV, we can move slow with bags. Bullseye aced for armor gating, and I Iron Man aced for the ICTV. Scavenger basic, so we have an increased pickup range. Bulletstorm aced. Once we use one of our ammo bags, we will have infinite ammo for a while, depending on how low our ammo is. Extra lead aced. We have more. We have two ammo bags now, and we have more ammo per ammo bag. So these are your ammo skills, which we will use for our cobuses. Hardware expert basics. We can fix drills faster, which is nice. Steady grip aced for more accuracy and stability. Lock and load basics we can run and gun, surefire ace for more bullets per mag, and to pierce body enemy body armor. And body expertise basic, so for headshot multiplier on the body. Duck and cover, parkour, and second wind, all for movement speed since we are using the heaviest armor, we're going to need all of these. Professional ace so we can get accuracy and stability with our cobuses. High value target ace to deal with specials. And finally, Unseen Strike Basics, so we can kill bulldozers fast, since we have crits now. Nine Lives Aced, to have an extra down before custody. Bloodthirst Aced, for reload speed after a melee kill, and for more melee damage, which is why we bring the Katana. Berserker Aced, for more damage with our Kobuses, and just more damage in general. All with low health. Frenzy Basics, so we can have two-shot armor. Alright. This deck is not the best, but play it carefully and you will be meh, you'll be fine. Use your 1.5 second and you'll be do good. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Okay, let's get Sharon out. This is personal for me, so let's stay sharp. Come on, find him! 
All right, got him. Sniper got what he deserved. Fucking up. Ah, so Winston called you. Can you help me out here?
got them. Thank you, my guardian angels. Let's go. 
traps and lit down the windows. They are all over the main entrance. We can't get out that way. Hold on, guys. I'm looking for a way out. If you cross the street, you should be able to get out of here. Coming? This is getting pretty hot. 